everybody. My name's Mario Rattana, and I'm the manager of the Santa Fe Springs Diamond. I'm also the hitting and pitching instructor here, and I'm here at our bullpen facility where we have our private pitching instructions. And basically, we have rates of $21 an hour, uh, excuse me, a half hour. Hello everybody, my name's Mario Rattana, and I'm the manager of the Santa Fe Springs Diamond. And this is our bull ki Hello everybody, my name's Mario Rattana, and I'm the Santa Fe Springs Diamond manager. I'm also the hitting and pitching instructor here for baseball. Uh, my basic background in baseball is I had the opportunity to play at a college level and also I also uh, was able to meet a lot of people in, in baseball who are very knowledgeable in the field. And now I have the opportunity to, to give the, uh, the skills that I learned from people to some of the uh, baseball players in the area. At the moment, we're here in our private bullpen facility, and this is where we have our pitching and softball pitching instructions. The rates are $21 a half hour for baseball pitching instructions, and it's $15 a half hour for softball pitching instructions. Our softball pitching instructor is Debbie Holland, and she currently is playing with U uh, Whittier College, and we also provide hitting instructions for softball. Our hitting instructor is Lisa Scott. She is also a coach at Laverne University. And again, I do the hitting instructions for baseball also. Those are $21 a lesson. Our, our batting cage facility is open to the public and our rates are 50 cents a token. For each token, you get 15 balls, and also for every $5 you spend, you get five free tokens. We also have bonus hours between four and five in the early afternoon, and nine and 10 at night, you get three tokens for a dollar instead of two. On our rental rates, it's 650 for 15 minutes, $12 for a half an hour, and $21 for an hour. After your second rental at regular price, your third rental is half price. Uh, the Diamond Facility would also like to thank you for your support. For and we're here right now at the Diamond with with some of the uh, the hitters here, and one of our hitters right here. What's your name, young man? Matthew. 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 What? Auerbach. And where are you from, Matthew? Whittier. And how many times have you been here, Matthew, so far? Nine. This is your first. This your first time? Yes. Well, that's great. How are you enjoying it? Mm, good. All right, that's good. And and your name? Ryan Rosales. Ryan Rosales. And how old are you, Ryan? Um, ten. Ten. What what little league you play at? I play at Whittier. Whittier Little League. All right, that's great. How's how's the season going? Okay, I got pegged um on Saturday. How you feeling? Okay. All right, that's good. Don't rub it, huh? Uh -huh. Who'd you come here with? My uncle, my coach. Your uncle, and is this your uncle right here? Yeah, this is my coach. How you doing, coach? Good. Pleased to meet you. Your name? My name is Glenn Rosales. How you doing? I'm fine. I'm the manager of the Whittier Little League Triple A um, Dodgers. Well, thanks, Glenn. It's good to see you here, and and we really appreciate you coming down and using the facility. Um, and we really like to see the, the community and the youth uh, use the facility. It's, um, it's a very uh, good opportunity for the kids, and, and we really appreciate uh, your support. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. And we're with one of our female customers here. Can I ask you your name, please? Linda. Linda Martinez. Linda Martinez. And you came here with your kids? 
and they play baseball? Where at? In La Mirada. Oh, La Mirada. Oh, that's great. You know, we get a lot of um, support from the surrounding uh, cities uh, around us. And La Mirada, Whittier, Norwalk, Downey, Pico Rivera. Um, I can go on and on. We get a lot of support, and, and we're available to all the communities around us. And we'd like to thank you for coming today, okay? Thank you. starting point where I want you to begin from now, okay? I want your feet, okay, halfway on the mound and halfway off. Can you see that? Okay? And we always want to start at this point because we need to always maintain contact with the mound. And if you notice, I'm maintaining contact on that, okay? But also, after this, and when we start, I want your, your hands together in front of you. Can you see that? Just like this, Ryan. Can you see that? Okay? Because this way, the batter cannot see the ball, okay? You're blocked, you, you're hiding the ball from the batter, and you want to hide the ball from the batter as long as possible. So your hands are up and your gloves in front of you. Another thing at this position, Ryan, is that you have, when you look straight over your glove, you can see your target, okay? You look directly over your glove to look at your target, okay? Can you show me that position? Okay, now remember, halfway over the, the mound and halfway there, very good. Okay, show me how you step back now. Okay, good, keep on going. Okay, all right, now freeze. Okay, now notice where your foot is. It's on the mound. Okay, when we pitch, we don't want our foot on the mound. Let me tell you why. Okay, the reason we don't want our foot on the mound, Ryan, okay, is because our cleats are rubber, okay, and we'll slip on this mound. Okay, if we stand on the mound, we're gonna slip on it. So we don't wanna stand on the mound. We don't wanna be on the edge because it's not, it's not level, okay? It's unstable and it make us rock over and lose our balance. When we set our foot, okay, we want to set our foot right here in this dirt spot, right in front because it's nice and level. Can you see that? And this way I have good, I have a, a good um, a foot, um, foot uh, my, I have a nice level spot on the ground to plant my foot, okay? Can you see that? And this way I won't slip. Okay, so if you'll notice, I want you to slide the foot back and slide the foot forward right in there. Can you see that? Show me. Yeah, glove up, start again. Okay, good. Slide it and slide it back in. Okay, now make sure we get our foot right back in though, okay? Let me show you what you did. Okay, watch, let me show you. Okay, remember, we start halfway on, halfway off. Okay, you went back here, you slid your foot way too far, okay? You need a shorter slide, okay? So just look at, see how I just barely slide it? Okay, and then I slide it right back in. Can you see that? Let me see if you do that. Okay, better, yes, better, out of boy, that's better. Okay, you're getting the idea now, okay? Let's try it, let's try it. to do different things, okay? I want you to do them and focus on them, but the number one thing I want you to concentrate on, Ryan, is to throw strikes, okay? That's what's the most important thing to do, is to throw strikes, you understand? boy. here we go. Thank you. 
when we come across, okay, we, when we step back here and then we see how we swing our leg across here, this is called our balance point, okay? If you notice, I'm balancing on one leg. Huh? Can you see that? And this is your balance point. When you're at your balance point, you have your leg, this leg that you swing, you, you kind of have it a little too, too relaxed and it's kind of straight, okay? I want you to bend it and raise it high like that. Can you see that? Can you do that? Let me see you try that. Okay, stand tall. All right, good. Okay, good. Good, good. Better, atta boy. That's the way to raise that knee higher, okay? All right? Because when you do that, okay, when you when you raise your knee high, okay, when you come to when you come forward to throw the ball, that helps you gain more momentum. Okay, and the more momentum you can you can develop, the more uh, velocity you can uh, you can uh, have in the ball, okay? Okay? So give me a little more knee kick. Yeah.